What's going on? Happy Thursday. Dude, I was ready to click play right at 105. So I was like fashionably late, but also on time. And the pool guy rolled up. And you know what that means. That just means dogs go bonanza. Ammo, dude, shut up. You don't even know what you're barking at. So there's that. There's that. Welcome, guys. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. I'm also so, so tired. I'm so tired. Summer's sick today. She's got the strep throat. But that's okay because it's my live day, not hers. So she can rest up today. Get a date with the antibiotics in there before she's got to go be a mom again. I'm just got to be a mom all the time. But fortunately, her mom's here, so... Carolyn can be the mom today. Um, gosh, guys, so much. Today is the last day of my messy workspace, as you guys know it. I'm getting my new organization, my new craft room on Saturday. Yay! So that's happening on Saturday. So I thought it was summer opening baby gifts. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why she needs to open those baby gifts before those babies aren't babies anymore. Um, no, it's me opening. I got a package from Alyssa today. And um, there's some other things. If Barbara Vallejo is on this live, Barbara Vallejo was my secret Santa. I was hers. Whatever. She's my secret Santa. We still have not opened gifts yet. Well, nobody else has opened gifts yet. I broke down and I opened my gift yesterday and it's awesome. If you guys don't know who Barbara Vallejo is, she's been a member for a very long time. She is an incredible artisan. Incredible artisan. Look what she made me. She made me a swear jar out of clay. This is clay. And it's absolutely stunning. And it's got charms and things. Um, but yeah, so she upcycles these jars and she finds it like the, um, at the, whatchamacallit. And she upcycled it into this beautiful thing. This is all clay. And these are Little and Rose gears that we sell. Um, and all of these things, she's absolutely incredible. So yeah, moderators, I broke the rules. I, I need to go murder my dog, so please hold. You guys better stop, you better stop, you better stop, that's not nice. You don't even know who you're yelling at. You don't even know who you're yelling at, ammo. Stop being a jerk. Yeah, don't you growl at me. Ammo is like the sweetest, most annoying dog on the planet. He'll just keep... I gotta lock him up, guys. I'm sorry. They're yelling at the pool guy. I gotta lock him up. This is gonna be just a minute. I'm sorry, guys. You're done. That's it. You're done. Get off the couch. You're done. Let's go. You're going. No, no, no. You stay there. Take your good boys. Ammo, Sergeant, come. Come on. Come on. Here you go. You guys are bozos. You're a good boy, team. Sorry, guys. It's so crazy because Tank is the biggest bozo when it comes to anybody else. Like, coming to the house, he jumps and tries to open mouth kiss him. He's absolutely the worst. But, like, doesn't bark at anybody when they come up. The other two dogs are, like, the cutest, and they will lick you and sniff you and then leave you alone. And But they are a nightmare when anybody walks by, drives by, whatever. 
So that's what we're dealing with today. Guys. That. Let's talk about some things. Let's talk about some things. First things first, first, first. I made something the other day and I'm very proud of it. And, you know, we, we used our leftover epoxy from something. Oh, leftover epoxy. And we made these like little barrettes. I actually finished it. And I used the instant transfer from the battle box on there and then used um, this um, adorable rhinestone set to make myself a little barrette, which I've been using. So you looked in the mirror this morning. It was cussing more than a sealer or a target compared to <laughs> Angela, maybe you need a swear jar. 48 hours because the edges are so sticky, it might mess the epoxy up to do it earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely wait 48 hours um, for that. All right, so there's that. Second, I demolded a second set of feet. This one is using Cameron glitter. I think he needs um some uh some resin on the outside to shine him up. Not on the inside though. But um, so yeah, so we made a second little little mister there. Um, I feel like this one, we need to give him rhinestone underpants. So we might give rhinestone underpants to this guy. Um, so the, I know the egg holder is amazing. It's still on the website, you guys. I mean, I don't think it's just for Easter. I think you could do how stinking cute would this be for like to make Santa Claus boots and the Santa Claus belly. Like you can make this red and these black and have this be like little Santa Claus, little candy holders or a little stocking holder or something. Oh, amaze. Amaze. So I finished those two things. Oh, I got one more thing I finished. Before we go into today's deals, one more thing that I finished, you guys. Because you guys, for those of you that are new, I never finish anything. I never finish anything. Um, but I also poured this um, Duck Duck Jeep with black on one side and gold um, mic mirror mica powders on the other side. <gasps> But I'm almost done. I had a super boring phone call. And so I was rhinestoning during the phone call. Thank you very much, Spectrum. Thanks, Spectrum. You're super boring and put me on hold for a very long time. So we got some rhinestoning done. So is this the most amazing Duck Duck Jeep ever? Yeah, we also used epoxy caviar beads inside to fill in the holes on his head, and I think it looked really great. So that's that. That's that. So we used the Happy Soul Collection on a gold base for this, um, and I think it looks amazing. Amazing! Also, whew, Later on today, we're going to make another step on my battle box. I got a coat of epoxy on it, folks. I thought that, do you guys want the truth or you want the lie? Let's give you the lie. I thought that this Vader could use some extra dimension. So I added some Cassidy mica powder into the epoxy so that it had kind of like a, um, like a galaxy kind of thought, uh, effect to it. Yeah. I don't love that. I don't love that I did that. I do think it's very interesting. I do love things very interesting and I think it'll create a cool background to the um the words that we're gonna put on here, which is lip gloss and 80s rock is how I roll. This is my battle box folks. Um but I did not intend for it to look like this. I uh, put on the, I put a Cassidy in the epoxy and then the epoxy fish eyed like crazy. Like I knew that it would to so the first layer fish eyes like crazy because you're touching everything, burnishing it and touching it and you can't wash it because it's like straight up glitter. So, you know, the first one's going to do that. And so when it fish eyed, all the Cassidy, any players, splotchy were like it fish eyed. And then I put the regular smooth layer on there and now it's beautiful. Uh, you use a little bow in your epoxy. Yeah. So it, it is, it's funny because this feels dry to the touch, but I know it's not dry because it was only on the Turner for 
um, and maybe 12 hours or something, but I stuck it on my notebook like this, like not thinking about it. And it ripped like the epoxy stuck to the paper still. So, um, make sure you guys store it like this because this is not cured yet. So we're going to work on that next step later on tonight. Cause I still need to design the decals and put some things on. We might even do it tomorrow, but first things first. Let's talk about today's deals. You did Vader and you used a little bow in it. I told you I liked, I looked like I battled a boxer. Angelina, I don't know what you're talking about. The cup is looking good. I think it's great. Hey, Eileen, what's going on? I think, Eileen, I think I, I messaged you in customer service. So I hope that it, I, I answered everything. Um, all right, so I've got all of this stuff from Alyssa. These are um, what's launching today. What's the date today? 321. This is, for 328 so that's going to go back in the envelope this is for 321 this is for 328 this is for 321 this is for 328 all right so we've got some oh we've got some earrings that we're going to make today ooh, whoa whoa oh, what is this <gasps> Wait till you guys see today's instant transfers. I mean, maybe you've already seen them because you already went onto the website because they're live. But oh, oh, this is so cool. That oh, that's for next week. Oh, that's for next week. Week for next week. Who knows? But oh. Guys, 321. Is this all for today? <gasps> we got some good stuff today. Oh, that's kind of perfect. Judge me when you are perfect. That is wonderful. Um, so this is on the website today. Oh, actually, I can use this cardboard backer as like a show me off. Judge me when you are perfect. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, you guys are gonna go bananas over this stars floating stars in all kinds of different sizes boom, 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 boom. oh my god this i feel like this was the, i thought this was the freebie hold on let me check the website i feel like this was the freebie for live mix and maybe they just gave it to me because it's cute what is this i think I think this is the freebie from yesterday. Today's deals. Today's deals. No, what is this? Is this supposed to be in here? I don't know if this is supposed to be in here. I don't see on the website. Let me look at the calendar. That's not the calendar. Black Scatter Galaxy Roses sheet. That's it. Maybe I forgot to make them live you guys i forgot to make the best one live please hold did i forget to make it live i sure did galaxy roses i forgot to make it live please hold sorry guys i'm a jerk <gasps> there it is i forgot to make it live active set is active Look at these. Hold on, let me put them on here. <gasps> Look at these. I kind of feel like they need to go on my battle box cup. These are galaxy roses. It goes with this whole galaxy theme. So it's like a nebula inside rose petals, you guys. And it's a million trillion different sizes. You're going to love these. Oh, my God. They're so good. Oh, my God. They're so good. No, these are different roses than the ones from yesterday. These are different roses. Yesterday's roses were like these blackish purple ones. And this is an instant transfer. That was a vinyl. This is an instant transfer. Oh, my God. You need these roses. You did not see these. when they, Gina, they weren't on when you ordered. I literally just made them live just the second. Oh, my God. Not them ones. Oh, I want to go mug that doctor back. I don't know what that means. Um... But anyway, so there's those. We got this like nebula looking amazingness. This is a full sheet instant transfer. <gasps> How could these look on top of there? Oh, 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is live. This like spacey thing. Let's see what these look like on there. Um, yes. Look how good that looks. I feel like these stars would look pretty awesome on top of there too. These are pretty amazing. Those look like the ones you won yesterday. I don't know. These are amazing though. You got the roses and you had to place a second order. Yes. Wait, wait. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. Hold on, Nelly. Hold on. Wait for it. Oh, that's really good too. Can I wrap something on it? That's really good too. Let's see what these roses look like on top of there. Ooh, look at that. That is a cup that is done. Done, 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 done. That is a cup that's done. You can almost judge me when you are perfect. Ooh, this is a good set today. I would actually like to like mix these together. Hold on. Let's figure out what we can do. Look at them together. What? These are great. These are great. These are good. I got to close my eyes being broke when good stuff comes out. Don't help Angela Judd. You're missing out. These are good. Look at them all. <sighs> oh, I'm so excited to play with this. I'm so excited! Yeah, the stars are pretty awesome. Where'd they go? Yeah, the stars are pretty awesome. Look, do I need stars on my battle box? I feel like I do. I feel like we need stars in the background. My battle box. It's not ready to touch with an instant transfer yet. I also feel like I love these, but we were going to put those other ones on, these other flowers that came with the battle box. Oh, these are so good. These are so good. They match so good. They match so good. You need the stars in white. You want to do a patriotic cup. Um, Karen, we have, Karen, I'm glad you said that, Karen. I was just going through some stuff. Aaron, and I found this, and I'm sure it's still on the website. We had a vinyl pack that came out last year. It was like this big old flag, and it was these, and it was this, and it was this, ooh, with the stars on it, please hold. Ah, how cool would that be? Mm, you guys, so this was a um, a 4th of July vinyl pack. I'm sure if you put red, white, and blue vinyls or stars vinyls or something, you can find that. That was a vinyl pack from last summer. Um, and I used a piece of the best one, which was like a uh, sequence fabric piece. Um, but yeah, that would be amazing. What? Yes, the butterfly, Karen, yes. This was a, a vinyl pack. If anybody knows the palette, you guys are crazy, you know the palettes. Um, oh man, now I gotta order more stars. Oh man, I definitely think you should order more stars. And you guys, we only have 100 stars on the website. So I feel like we need to get on that. That's so funny, I forgot that vinyl even existed. And then I, um, let me see if I can Google. Let me see if you could search by Patriot. Patriot. Hmm. Where's the vinyl pack? See more. Patriotic. Palette 27 has some. Oh, here is the vinyl pack. I feel like I should make that into an instant transfer pack for you guys. What 
Who's that final pack? Tink, are you on? If there's any moderators on, I needs to make that vinyl into an instant transfer for sure. Indeed you should. That's what I'm thinking, Angela. Oh, let's see. Um, flag, like USA. How do we not have this? Where, where, where was it? Anyone, no, how does nobody know what this is? How do I not know what this is? It was a vinyl pack and it was so good. Hold on. It's gotta be under USA. Hold on, I'm searching. Frantically searching. Frantic. I mean, gosh, it's like I go live one day a week and like at one o'clock is when everybody decides to like weed whip and cut the lawn, USA. Butterfly. I think. Oh, there it is. The Land of the Free Collection Decal Pack 1. <laughs> decal Pack 1 and Decal Pack 2. It's out of stock. Sorry, guys. Let me see what I can do about getting that back in stock. Let me see what I can do about getting that back in stock since we just talked about it. It's called Land of the Free Collection. Making a night note. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna make a note. Calm down. Everybody just calm down. I gotta get the notebook out. Land of the free decal. Excuse me. Excuse me. Woo. Woo. All right. Enough about that. Enough about that. Let's make something from today. What do we want to do? Oh, also. Also, let's talk about interesting things. That's not my battle box. Um, 321. There's that. So let's talk about a single pull, single color pour versus multicolor pours, right? So yesterday I had this epoxy and I put a single color in and then I was like, I wonder what happens if I put some of this extra stuff in. And it looks so much more interesting when you put more than one color in there. So guys, next time I try to do a single color pour, somebody yell at me and just be like, no, do something else. Cause it's so much more interesting with a multicolor. And now we're going to stick something inside here. Like, um, we're going to put some black spots or put some darker colored spots in there. And, um, it's going to look so much better on this one than this one. So guys, no more single color pours remind me. Okay. And I'm just thinking like this could have been so much more interesting if I would have ombre the pour. No more single color pours for me. With that being said, it's time to make some earrings. We've got heart swirls and we've got these, um, what is that? Well, this is like a moon with an eagle drop kind of thing. Let's take that off. Hey, what's up, Sativa? What's up, Heather? Gina? Debbie? Come on, guys. All right, so we've got this. Oh, can you guys see that? There's like, like an eagle face coming down from that. And then we've got this phases of the moon one, which is a favorite. And I think we're gonna do the phases of the moon. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna play with some mirror mica powders. We're gonna play with some mica powders with the phases of the moon one. Um, and let's play with some, um, uh, not mirror makeup powders. We're going to play with some, um, interference makeups. You've been crazy busy, but you'll try and rewatch the lives. Do the moon ones, please. The moon ones. There's also this, um, swirly mix swirl swirl heart. Tank. Stop. 
There's also this really mixed squirrel swirl, which is adorable. So let's start off with some. Ooh, do we? I think we're gonna use. I think we're gonna use epoxy today, guys, because I gotta pour one more little mister. So let's start. Oh, hit right side up. That's cool. That's cool. We're cool. We're cool. We cool, everybody. We cool. All right, let's get some interference on our guys. What do we got here? You guys, we sell a lot of our micas in these little pallets, and I love them. We also sell them individuals. But all right, so we've got. Um, interference mica palettes right here that we're going to use. Um, and if you guys don't know what interference mica is, interference mica changes colors based on, um, you know what I need? I need one of those burnishing tools that we sell. Interference mica powder changes color, um, when you like on white versus not white. And so it like picks up some other colors. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some interference mica onto the phases of the moon. And then we are going to um, add some black. Stop trusting. He starts stalking us around noon and even then he missed the beginnings of black lives. It's funny. Your flakes are here, Belle. Belle got some flakes. Do you feel like we should do some flakes? Maybe we should do some flakes in the moon. We'll do some flakes in the moon. What kind of flakes do I got? Let's see what I have. Flakes. Flakes. Let's use some sis. Oh, what do we got here? Mushy. Oh, I feel like that's a good one. Some. Burp. Burp. Oh, this is a good one. Shinryu. I do love Shinryu. I feel like we're going to use some Shinryu in our moons. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to start this. All right. I'm pointing you guys down. The first drink. The first left drink. All right. So we've got Mirror Mica Powders. This first one we have, let's just... Let's just see what we got. We got meadow. Meadow looks like it goes green. See that? It looks white and then it goes a little bit green. So we got meadow is green. We got Olette. What's Olette do? Olette looks like she's a little yellow. Olette goes gold. So you guys can see the difference in it. Green and then gold. What do we got? So we got serendipity. I wonder what she does. Serendipity, I don't even know. Serendipity, oh, she's a little orange. We got Aria. What's Aria gonna do? Oh, Aria looks like she might go purple. Yep, Aria goes a little pink. You guys see that? And then we got Doriel. What color you go, Dory? Dory goes. Oh, Dory goes purple nurple. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go. Let's put them in order. Let's go purple. And then meadow is green. Don't mess them up. And then Olette was yellow. And then Aria went orange. And Serendipity. Merg. And Serendipity went pink. Right? Is that right? Or did Aria go pink? I don't remember now. Aria's pink. All right, so these are the colors that we're using. So they are white when they go on, but then once they touch a pigment, any pigment, they go a little bit um, colored. You discovered you have a ton of UV and not hardly any mold. Oh, let's do this in UV. 
Maybe it's time to get some molds, girl. All right, so we're gonna start with, this is the blue. So I'm gonna just rub some of this mica powder on here in blue. And we're gonna make like kind of a, an ombre um, near mica. Thing happening right here. Okay. Put a little yellow in there. So this is supposed to be the gold. Let's see what happens there. And gold. All right. All right, and then we got a little orange. A little orange. And then we're going to jam this pink in there. Pink, pink, you stink. All right, let's see what happens. Jam this pink, pink, you stink in there. Now, if you tip it at kind of an angle, you can see where all the colors are and you can see if you've missed anything. And so, I don't know if you guys can see this. So you can see that I've missed a little spot right here. So you can just go back in, like pick color. Let's do, um, looks like it's the gold. Looks like the gold that I missed. So I'm going to add a little bit more gold right there. Just kind of fill it in. And the gold right there. Just kind of fill it in. But everything else looks like I've pretty much swept it. And that this is going to be good. That this is going to be good. So we've got that. So that one's done. Um, and then for the moon... Let's put a little yellow on the um, the moon part. I'm gonna close all these guys because I wanna use yellow on the moon. And then I think that we're gonna do um, some flakes behind the moon. Um, oops, we're gonna use yellow on the moon. And I'll show you guys what flakes do too. Um, so real quick, these are the flakes that we're using. What do we got here? Let me clean it off. We had a little accident with our milk mica. It spilled everywhere. So I still haven't cleaned it off. So this is Shinryu. This is, um, one of our mica flakes. These mica flakes were on sale the other day. Um, which is why we're talking, which is why people were talking about them. But you can see that when you open them up, I'm going to close this so I don't get anything on there. When you open them up, there it's not a powder like the other stuff. It's actual like chunks of flake, right? And so when you put it on, when you put it onto something, you get like, it almost looks like glitter, and so you have to take your um, your tool, and you actually have to mash it in. And when you mash it in, it's not going to mash into my skin, but when you mash it in, it will um, 
it'll do what we're we're trying to get it to do. So I'm actually going to start with the flakes and then I'm going to put the yellow on second. See how it, when I pick it up, it's like flake, flake, flake. So we put it on there and you really just mash it in and it creates this, um, this really cool effect. Right, it's this iridescent effect that hits pinks and it hits blues. And then when you turn, when you turn your project, um, it's gonna change from pink to blue, this particular one. There's other ones that'll go from pink to yellow. Um, there's other ones that'll go from uh, orange to green. All right, so this is Shinryu. All right, and I'm just going to clean up this. Um, I'm going to just clean up the moon part because I want the moon to be yellow. So I don't want any Shinryu on there. So I'm just taking a baby wipe and I'm cleaning that off just so that none of the flake gets on that part. All right. I'm probably gonna have to clean that off again. Um, well, actually, let's just do some of the yellow. All right, so this is the Interference Mica Powder. Um, we sell this as a palette. You just type in Interference or whatever, um, and it'll show up. So I think this is gonna be pretty good. All right, so that's the yellow. I, I tend to put the darker one on first so that I can wipe it off easier. Um, I'm actually going to, I don't want to screw up the side that I've already done. So this is Little Lee and Rose. Um, this is Little Lee and Rose epoxy tape. This is usually used for charms. Um, but I'm actually going to use it to um, just protect the side that I've finished already so we don't get any flakes or anything in there. Why can't I lift this up? My fingernails are too fat. This is not a necessary step. This is just, I don't want to have to redo this again um, because flakes can be a little crazy um, and kind of get everywhere. So this is me just protecting the one that I've already done. Um, it's not a necessary step, but it's just something that I'm going to do. Um, so you guys can see these flakes go on flaky. And then you just have to grind them in to flatten them out. This works better with a burnishing tool. You could use a Q-tip. You could use um, your finger. I don't know why I'm using this paintbrush because I have it out. Because I'm lazy. Because I'm too lazy to get something else out. It's pretty, all are pretty accurate descriptions. All right. So there's that guy. He's done. We're done with him. So we're going to take our little thing. We're going to clean up our moon. All right. All 
rain. And we're going to use the yellow, which was Olette. I'm just going to paint in that moon. Now all the dogs in the neighborhood are yelling. All right. So I'm just going to give it a little tilt to make sure I got the whole thing. Yes, I did. All right. So we're going to lift this up. Cover this up. I swear we could just probably keep down, keep Dawn in business totally. All right. So we're putting these guys back down. And then we need to decide what we want to do with the ends here. Um, these ends. So I'm going to pour this with black. So that this really, really pops. Um, I think that we can probably. I mean, we can just get crazy and do like other colors in here. Um, let's rub. Hmm. I've also got gold. I think this would be really cool. We've got this um, Kira mica powder. And let's see what happens there. Give this little Mr. Face. All right. The cool thing about mica powder is you can kind of like draw on the colors that you want and then you still only have to pour in one. Okay. You do with mica powder, you do want to um, paint up the sides though so that it's not, so that the color like continues up the side of your mold okay let's give her let's give us this, this little mister like uh i feel like we should give him a little orange beak though okay let's find some orange how orange do we want to go with this guys we feel like or maybe we can have a little pink beak I mean, we can go real orange. Oh, or we've got this brown. Let's try this brown. Let's do Amelia. We don't have to, this doesn't have to look like a clown show. Let's just do some brown. All right. I feel like we're almost ready to pour. Which means we're going to have to kick the cats out and do all the things. Oh, no, let's do um, UV resin. Then we don't have to kick the cats out. And then you guys get to see this immediately. We'll just do, like, really light layers of UV resin. All right, there we go, there we go. I do feel like I need to get out that, what color green did we use? Did we use, anybody remember? It wasn't Penny. 
Uh oh. What was the green I used? It wasn't Diane. Oh, Kira. We used Kira. All right. So you can also take like some of these silicone tools and you can also use that to um to get fine lines in there if you don't want to um if you're trying to do like a little more detail these will um these tools will also work All right, it's time to get out the UV resin. Everything else is gonna be black and I'm okay with that. Everything else is gonna be black. You need to find your silicone tools. Nikki Jennings, I'm ordering more silicone tools for the website. I'm just waiting for the, um, to find out what else I need to order with them because I don't wanna just order silicone tools because we need to optimize the shipping. All right. Let's clean up the space just a little. All right, let's get out the UV resin. Let's get out some gloves. 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 UV resin. I'm actually going to use soft care on these. No particular reason, just because it's out. No particular reason. And then what do we want to do to, you want to put this Vader? Let's use Vader. Tristan. We can use Vader um, for this. And guys, we're going to... Um, we are going to do real thin layers here so that it will cure all the way through because one of the problems is um, one of the problems with using a dark color is that the UV light has to shine all the way through it to be able to um, actually I have more UV less than I'm going to use. Change your mind. Change your mind. Um, the UV light has to be able to shine through it in order to um, cure it. So if you're going to use a dark color, you got to do real thin layers and multiple layers. That might not be enough. <laughs> it's definitely not enough. And it's very sunny in my office. So we're going to have a problem here. All right, so this is actually, oh no, I didn't realize this didn't go all the way through. I thought that this was one design, but it turns out that this is, um, I, it, I thought that this was one mold, but it turns out it's three different molds. There's like three things that connect here. So I'm going to need to spray that real quick before it cures on me because it's sunny in here. And, um, yeah. Oh, see, this is already starting to cure. 
um, because of my the light that I have in here. So, yeah. You got to get it fast. Um, so, I guess. Yeah, let me get another one and I'll reuse the other cup. Um, like as it cures, I'll have to like go back and reuse the other cup. All right, let's get one more cup out. Let's try and get one of these guys done too. Let's put a little... We'll put her in there. Ooh, that was fast. Fast and furious. So the good thing is that these molds are um, clear. So we'll be able to cure it on the top and the bottom. So hopefully... It'll be thin enough to cure all the way through. Um, since we used a dark color. So I'm just kind of using the, the wand to push on to the other side. Just so that we can get all, all of the bits covered. And then we can clean it out with our silicone tool in just a second. Um, All right, there's that. So this is the Little Lady Rose UV resin, guys. Um, I'm just hitting it with a little bit of spritz and that's gonna get any ear bubbles out of the top. We can take this little silicone tool that we have here. We can clean up the edges and make sure that this pushes all the way to the end. Um, so there's no air bubbles in there screwing things up. Because screwing things up is not what we're going for in this project. But you can just kind of like clean up the edges. So that you don't have to clean up as much later. All right, there's that. So like I said, the sun that's in this room is already curing these. Um, so, but I'm going to hit this with a UV lamp real quick. If I can find it. Nice. Nice. I'm also going to put these little cups inside the UV light so that um, it can cure what's inside those cups. All right. If you want soft surface, use soft cure for a deep, pure more sturdy piece of hard cure. Yes. So there's two different kinds of UV resin that we sell. Soft cure and UV. Um, somebody made a good point or some soft cure and hard cure. Somebody made a good point the other day that they're barrettes. Like sometimes your barrettes like need a little bit of a rounded give to them. Um, if you're making a, a barrette or if you're making like a keychain or something like that, like sometimes you want a little like a little squish to it. Uh, or like a cabochon or something like, I don't know. Um, sometimes if I make it for like a little kid that I think is um, not as gentle with things, I'll use soft gear um, because it does, it is a little bit pliable. Um, and kids, you know, they tend to like take things and try to like, you know, manila gorilla things. And uh, that will stop them from ruining, ruining your stuff. Hopefully, right? Hey, from Argentina, you have to ask, what did you spray for the bubbles? Oh, this is 99% alcohol. Um, and that's what I sprayed on it uh, for the bubbles. And you can put this on the mold before you pour it, if you're pouring like a deeper mold like this. Um, so this is a little, um, a little Easter egg holder mold. Um, and I sprayed the inside of this with alcohol before I poured it. And you can see that there's no air bubbles at all. 
on this um, little mister. A little mister. Um, what is it all itchy? Uh, that's it. So we're just letting this cure for a couple minutes. Uh, it takes about 90 seconds under the lights. Um, but I usually do 90 seconds and then I flip it over and then I give it another 90 seconds. And then like once I think the project is finished, I do go put it out in the sun for like the rest of the day. Just to, like super duper extra cure. Um, all right. So I'm gonna, you guys can see here, um, it does feel hard to the touch, but I'm going to flip it over and cure the other side because I'm not sure. Um, yeah, these feel like they're almost cured too, but I'm also going to flip these guys over and cure them. And then you guys will see that these will come straight out of the, um, the things. And then we'll be able to make something else uh, use them again. Um, oh, so while we're waiting for this to cure, it's story time. Um, I have, oh, um, well, here, while we're waiting, I'll show you guys what's, what's new on today's deals again on IWantGlitter.com. Um, we have a bunch of new instant transfers that are up. I don't know if there's any left because um, you guys were going bananas about these stars. So this is an instant transfer. This is a permanent um, a semi-permanent bond. Um, so if you put this on a cup, you do not need to epoxy over it. Um, same thing with these roses. These are um, like nebula galaxy roses. So they've got like a nebula pattern inside of them. And they're in various shapes. We've got this full sheet, which we're going to show putting these onto a putting, making a full cup of these in just a little bit. Um, we've got this amazing like galaxy which is amazing. This is a full sheet. And then we've got this one, which is a full sheet also. We, um, For those of you that have never used instant transfers before, we're gonna show you how to use them in just a little bit, but you can layer them over each other and it still looks awesome. Um, and then there, we also had um, this little thing that says, judge me when you were perfect, um, which I thought was pretty outstanding, so. There's that. I think that these are ready now. So let's pull these up. Almost forgot to finish your order. Belle, get in there. Don't forget to get the um, these roses because this is like, the, I would say my top two buys for today are these. These are finishers. These are cup finishers. They're pretty amazing. Um, so there's that. All right, this, let's just call this a day. I guess it's got five more seconds. We can just wait five minutes. You hate missing things you want. Like the ladybugs, Belle, the ladybugs are coming back. They'll be here in 10 days. 10 days. All right. So I don't know how to do that off. Okay. So I'm going to flip you guys over. Flip you guys back. All right. So first things first, these were the cups and that I cured the, the UV resin out of. And look, they just came out whole. And now we can use this cup again. So this is trash. It's completely cured. Same thing with this. Just kind of like give the cup a little, a little shush, and then you can just pull this right out, and this cup is clean and ready to be used again. Boom, boom. All right. First things first. Let's go to our. Um, this is the moon. This is the the moon mold, and we put interference micas on here in a rainbow format. And look at you guys can see from the back. I think you guys can see a little bit of the rainbow. So look at how that came out with the interference micas. Oh, let me get a light on this. Hold on. Light. Just give me one second, guys. All right, let's see if this is helpful. I'm gonna, this thing is gonna drop off. All right. Can you guys see this? See the interference micas and how they, um, um, and the colors that you get from them. So um, we are gonna take this 
and we're gonna just um, zhuzh it up just a little bit more um, because it looks a little bit dull right now. Um, but one swipe of UV resin, ooh, that looks good. Can you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, there it is. Do you guys see that? All right, so that is awesome sauce. All right, and let's see what happened with this guy, um, this moon. Well, we didn't finish this. We gotta, we gotta pour the other half still. But the moon. So this is. These are the um, the flakes. The um, the uh, the uh, Shinryu flakes. And then this is the um, the interference mica that we put on here to create this. So I'm just gonna take some. I'm just. Oops. I'm just gonna take some hard cure resin and I'm literally just going to put it on my finger like this much and then you can just rub it over this and it'll create a shine so that you don't have a dull so it doesn't look dull anymore all right and there it's all shined up same thing with this Now the difference between this UV resin, ah, the difference between this UV resin and the um, epoxy is this UV resin is not FDA compliant. So you cannot use anything that you're gonna like stick your mouth in. So don't put these in your mouth. Um, they go in your ears, not in your mouth. All right. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna close that up. I'm gonna wipe this off my finger with a, um, this is just a regular old baby wipe off my fingers. And we're gonna cure this again real quick. And that only needs a quick cure because uh, it's only gonna get a quick cure because it's um, so thin. Don't use them as teething toys for your baby, for sure. I mean, girl. Don't even put that into the universe. Owie, what's your owie about, Gina? Razor blades in your throat the last two times you tried. You know what? Summer's super duper allergic to UV resin as well. I'm not. She can use UV resin if she uses a respirator. Um, so maybe either give it up or try a respirator. But um, yeah. Epoxy allergies are cumulative. Like sometimes you'll get it and... Um, or sometimes you're not allergic and then all of a sudden you become allergic. So, um, I am not, I do not have a, an allergy to UV resin, but like I said, Summer has to wear a mask. She cannot breathe the UV resin at all. So she has a really high quality respirator mask that she uses. All right, let's see where we're at. Boom. Oh my God, that's super cute. So this is what we made with the um, with the interference micas um, and the uh, UV resin. And you can just take your exact. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm just taking my exacto knife to kind of clean up these edges here. Um, Right, so that they're clean. There, that's the black. That's the Vader that we put on the back, the holographic black. And then that is the interference mica powder that we put on. So you don't actually need to do like a multicolor pour. You can use these interference mica powders to um, to alter the color of a single pour. And then we did the same thing here with um this is a it's called well this is you can see it changes colors oh there you go you can see it's going from orange to purple um i don't know if this light's even helping yeah it might be. oh it goes from purple to blue orange to purple to blue like this um so that's pretty cool 
So this is the interference, or this is the the um, the flakes, and then this is the interference powder. And again, this is with the black on the background. It was poured on top. It was poured with black. So boom, there's our earrings for the. Well, we're not done with the earrings for the day. I feel like we should finish them. Let's just finish them. Let's just finish them. No big deal. Epoxy hospitalized you, even though you're wearing all your PPE. Oh man. I'm glad that you figured it out now. Um, and hopefully, well, I think sugar, that's why instant transfers are so great. So now you can still make all of your cups using instant transfers, right? I think I saw that. I think I saw an order for a ton of instant transfers from you. Um, I actually try to use epoxy as little as, as possible because I, I don't think epoxy is fun. I don't like epoxy. I'm not very good at epoxy. Um, and so I like instant transfers. I will do epoxy obviously because of the battle box and cause I make a couple cups, but I'm going to show you, um, I'll show you guys a couple cups that I did that are not epoxy in just a minute. And I mean, I think they're pretty sweet. I think they're pretty sweet. There we go. Little, little eagle man there's one little eagle man let's do the second little eagle man the second little eagle man oh, i might be able to get the circle done too that might not have been enough for the circle i have to take some off the little eagle man this is what happens when I try to rush. It does not go well. Mm. All right. Well, we're going to have to do a real thin one here. That's all right. We can have a second layer. As long as you get the base layer down. Um, as long as you get the base layer down. Good enough. Before it cures. Because then it'll cure like flat. So then we can add a little bit more to it to like beef it up. All right. I realize this one's low. It's okay. We're going to add more epoxy to it. Uh, we're going to add more resin to it in just a couple minutes, um, and it'll be fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, who's ready for story time? So, unfortunately, I had to break up with my veterinarian the other day. Um, we just had some problems with their billing department. It wasn't even her and it wasn't even her, the care that she provides. Actually, the care that she provides is phenomenal. My dog Sergeant is like literally petrified of the vet. Um, and the care she provided was outstanding, but her billing department kept screwing things up and her back office kept screwing things up. So I had to break up with her and I wrote her a letter. And um, I wrote her a letter and I was like, look, your care is phenomenal. This is why I'm breaking up with you. Um, it's your back office staff. These are the things that have happened, blah, blah, blah. And, um, she called me and she was like, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the detail in your letter. We're going to use this to improve our staff. Like, I know we can't get you back as a customer. You put up with way more than you needed to. Um, but we really appreciate like, you know, the feedback you've given us and the discretion and the partnership and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I was like, hey, yeah, no problem. Like, you know, like, like I said, I think you're wonderful. Blah, blah. And she's like, if you need a backup bet for any reason, like, you're still welcome here. I was like, oh, that's really sweet of you, you know, blah, blah. And then yesterday, I was feeding my new grapefruit tree. And all of a sudden, edible arrangements rolls up. And I was like, what? Who's buying me an edible arrangement? 
the freaking vet sent me something. And while it's too late to keep you as a client, we want to thank you for your patience and taking the time to explain to us where we missed the mark. We'll be, we will be working ways to combat those issues going forward. And we appreciate you. Isn't that amazing? See, that's the customer service. That makes me feel bad for divorcing her, for breaking up. But I really like her. I really like her, 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 her. I just think her staff sucks. Um, so yeah, so they're gonna work on things and um but I just feel like guys that is what we strive for here. We strive to not screw up, but when we do, we try to like have a personal touch about it. And I commend my vet for like going above and beyond to in her apology. But then here's the thing. Do I have to say like, do I have to send her a note now? It's like, hey, I got your gift. Thanks. Or is like it done? Because I feel like we're going back and forth and back and forth. And hey, thanks for the card. Hey, thanks for the da, 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 da. So am I, am I supposed to acknowledge the receipt of it? What's Emily Post say? Is anybody like an, an etiquette expert? I need some, I need some advice. Because like I feel like I should be like, hey, I got it. Thank you so much. Like I appreciate your attention to the matter. But Jeff's like, no, leave it. It's done. Done. Debbie says she would. I know. I know. I just don't know what to do. I don't want to. I kind of want to be your friend. Of course, I would send a thank you card. All right. P.S. I did not eat all the chocolate covered things. I saved one chocolate covered pineapple <laughs> for Jeff. <laughs> Just a quick thank you card. Okay. Okay. You would. Okay, good. Then I'm not crazy here. Not crazy. Thanks for the advice, guys, because I feel like I need to acknowledge it. It was very nice. And I, I, the phone call was enough, but the chocolate covered yummies was enough to make me then feel bad. And I shouldn't feel bad, but it depends on the circumstances of the breakup reasons. I think it was a two-page letter. So there was a lot of reasons. Plus, I don't mince words. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nellie. Nobody's ever called me classy before. <laughs> All right, I think this thing's almost done. Let's give it. 15 more seconds. Dun, 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 Do not save Jeff any. He said no. Nikki, how did you know? He, you, well, Nikki, listen. Jeff told me not to write the letter. He's like, what do you think? It's going to change the way they do their their business. And I was like, I don't know if it's going to change the way she does her business, but she needs to know that her staff sucks. And that's why I'm leaving. I was like, I was like, I'm not going to put it on Yelp because I don't want to ruin her business because I really like her, but I feel like she needs to know. And then when I got the phone call, I put it on speakerphone. I was like, see, Jeff? He goes, oh, great. Now you're going to write a letter about every little thing. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, no, not every little thing. But so, yes, the proper thing would be to send a note. Now, if they responded again, that is not right. I mean... What they should set, they should respond with some brevecto, some flea and tick treatment for my dogs. That would have been even better than an edible arrangement. Be like, hey, sorry this happened. Because can I tell you, the day after I broke up with them, I got like an automated letter from their system that was like, hey, it's Sergeant's time to renew his flea and tick medicine. I was like, and there's a coupon. what I really want. Some perfecto. All right, guys, let's go. Let's see what this is. Thanks for the advice. By the way, I also need to let the dogs out. Oh, crap. We need to do another layer of black right there real quick. Well, let's take out this little mister and then we can be putting this, then we can put this thing together while we are curing the second one. Oh, he's so cute. Look at my little mister. It kind of looks like an ice cream cone. All right. Let's um, do this real quick. Let's fill this guy up. It just needs like so, so little of an amount. Um, that's probably way too much glitter for the amount of whatever I need. All right, let's just, 
Smurf. All right, some of that's going to go to waste, I'm sure. And it feels like it's not enough goops. It feels like it's not enough goop. If it looks like I'm in a rush on this, I am because my 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 room is very very light, and the sun is like instantly curing this epoxy, so it's already like um it gets gummy like almost immediately. You should be doing this either at nighttime or in a room that is like blacked out, um, at least not with the windows wide open like mine is. Um, Come on, little guy. Smooch. Smoochly booch. All right. Here we go. Here, I don't know if I'm going to need it, but I've got one extra. A little blip here, so let's just stick it in there because we might need it. We might need it. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe the other one's, maybe something goes wrong there. All right, here's this. We're gonna wipe off our tool right away. We're gonna put that thing back on. Move this guy out of the way. Move this guy out of the way. Mm. Turn that on. All right, let's put our little mister together. And I think it's cheaper too. Noli loves to craft. Ask him if he would like to know if someone is unsatisfied with his service or his staff. Right? Right? Yeah, they are. And they let him know. And they let him know. I'm just putting on another little like little blip on here so I can shine up our little our little mister. So I'm just gonna shine him up real quick. Um, just with a quick little, quick little rub down and I'll stick him in the, um, stick him in a little cure. Whoop. Just get cured real quick and then he's done and then he's done. Then we can get on to making a cup with our instant transfer. You're so excited. I hope I have something. New comments. Let's see. It's a lost art to write anything. I'm going to start your letter. What are you going to write your letter about, girl? Eileen, it's not to us, is it? Man. Eileen. Eileen, now you got me freaked out. Are you writing a letter to us? Yeah. Right? Eileen, who are you writing your letter to? Eileen, who's your letter to? Better not be to us. I think I solved your problem. All right, I'm gonna flip over the little mister and we're gonna put them together right now. Come on. Come on, flip over, jerk. Let's flip that. Oh, is that dry yet? Yeah, it's dry. We're gonna flip that over. And flip that over. Give it a cure on the back end. <gasps> Eileen! It's the first you've never seen fear in your eyes before. <gasps> Eileen, I thought I fixed it. Where's your package? Eileen, I text, I sent you an email about your package. Eileen, I'm calling you after this. I'm writing it down right now. Call Eileen Bletcher. Call Eileen Bletcher. You're on my list. Boom, boom. Eileen, you're getting a call after this. We all think UV is just gel nail. Do we all think UV bond is not is just gel nail polish? I don't think it is. I think there's a difference. So you know how there's gel nail polish and then there's also like the, the gel, the bio gel that they put on you. It's like different. I think it's slightly different. Your only complaint is you have too many things I can't live without you. <laughs> Get her. M is naughty. That's not nice. Nope. You only received one. Eileen. Look, hold on. Because I know I sent it. I mean, oh, look, you just made me drop my phone. Hold on. I gotta let the dogs out. 
Come back, come back. Sorry. Oh, Pearl, where are you going, Pearl? All right. Sorry. You have been getting a nice subtle hint. Hint, 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 hint. Right, hold on a second. I'm checking out Eileen's package real quick. While this stuff is curing, and then we're going to put our thing together, and then we're going to make a cup. Freaking A, Eileen. Eileen Bletcher, ship station. Hold on, guys. Hold on. We're doing customer service real quick. Face is too funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. She's looking for a package and she feels neglected. Eileen Bletcher. There's something. I don't know what package it is. Eileen. Your item was delivered to a parcel locker on March 8th for Lauderdale. Eileen, I'm going to have to, I feel like a redhead. You're not a redhead stepchild. No. Eileen, I'm going to call you after this because. I, it looks like it got delivered to Fort Lauderdale, but I don't think that you live in Fort Lauderdale. So, <gasps> this is not good. This, the, I'm using a different camera stand. It's got a light on it, and it's not heavy enough to not fall over. Eileen, I'm going to call you after this. Um, your, your item was delivered to a parcel locker at 1149 to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I know you don't live in Fort Lauderdale, but you live in Florida. Eileen, I'll call you. Um, like legit, I'll call you. Not like, hey Jeff, I'll call you back. Like legit, Eileen, you're on my list. I'm gonna call you. So get ready. It's not funny. I know. It's not funny. It's not funny when something is supposed to be there and it's not. It's not funny. Um, but let's make it less awkward on the line. <laughs> All right. It's not funny, Nellie. It's not funny. <laughs> she wants to send you edible flowers. <laughs> I'm not sending you edible flowers. All right. Let's go. Let's mold this guy and let's put some things together. All right. So here is what this thing is supposed to look like. Does the moon go this way? Let's make the moon go this way. And then we got this. Oh, you guys can't even see. You guys can't even see. And I got an extra one of those. All right, let's see if I can. So this is the one that I shined up. And this is the one that needs to be shined still. So you guys can kind of see the difference there. Let's see if we got any junk rings and stuff. Yeah. These. It doesn't seem like it would be right. Well, that's going to have to be right. I don't have the right things. They've only got silver ones. Well, that's not getting put together today. That's not getting put together today. The ones I ever so big gets any packages she is going to be like who did this to me <laughs> the packages should be perfecto <laughs> just kidding all right i'm putting all these pieces in my little cubby over here um so that we can make these earrings later all right so those are the earrings that are on the website today we've got the moons and the skulls we've got the heart fart swirls. 
troll just like body slammed the door and it opened. Look how far open the door got. The door was shut and Pearl like literally body slammed the door open that far and then is like running back and forth attacking the screen. She's gonna be absolutely by bananas. <gasps> <laughs> she just like skidded across. She just parkour in my office. She's like, parkour. <laughs> oh, Pearl. If you guys knew, Pearl's real fat. So parkour is not one of her key attributes. Parkour. Pearl. Parkour, Pearl. Oh, man. She didn't have them in a camera angle. No. So, and then the last thing that we have is uh we've got this that we put together with interference micas so we did that oh now eliza's attacking things eliza don't you scratch that i will sell you don't you scratch that let's make a cup let's make a cup it'll be much more successful your cat does that to your walls oh my god all right. I love this. I kind of love this. And I, let's just make it into a keychain. Can we just make this into a keychain? I don't need earrings. I got new earrings anyways. They're little tennis rackets. Tennis rackets. I just got them. We're going to make this into a keychain. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my Making it into keychain. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. We got a jump ring. And we got a hole. Son of a gun, I gotta straighten that jump ring up. Son of a gun! I need another set of pliers. I can't get the jump ring separated. Oh, my God. Mm, this all right. This is not going well. I I I went all the way through. I need to make the hole. Girl, you need a set of jewelry pliers. I don't know what you're talking about. These like rusty old pliers from my first house from 2001. I feel like they were just fine. Everything's fine, guys. It's fine. <laughs> what? We're just doing things that are things to do. Ha ha! Success! Come on, you jerk. I'm not talking to Eliza right now. We're fighting. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! This is working great! Everything's great. Dang it, I closed the jump ring too much. All right, we're almost done here. Boom, I made a keychain. Now I feel like I'm going to rhinestone the bedazzle out of the back of this and it's gonna be awesome. Look at that! I made that! I made that. Ooh. I know you guys are probably like, oh, way to go. You're not that good at things. But listen, also, I'm not that good at things. So, yeah. 
If I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Ha! Let's make a cup. Instant transfer cups. That I can do. Instant transfer cups. I got that all day long. Ooh. Find a cup. I need you to find a cup. It smells. Did you take a poop, Eliza? Jeez. Oh. Stink stirs. What do we got here? Somebody took a dookie in the next room. Somebody took a dookie in the next room, Zs. Ugh. My eyes are watering. All right. All right. Let's clean up my station. Let's make a cup. Let's make a cup. This is I'm good at. This I'm good at. Instant transfer cups, yes, please. Epoxy cups, eh. Sometimes you can do okay. That's me talking to myself. Oh, does I literally, oh my God. Did you poop on the floor? Oh my God, that is like vile. I'm like literally wondering if she pooped herself because this is disgust or I am literally lighting a candle. It's gross. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Tell me if that sets anything in my house on fire, because it looks like it's a pretty high flame, right? Oh. oh, Nikki Jennings received her charms the other day. She's working on her first charm. All right, let me clean this off a little bit, um, because we're going to do something awesome. Something awesome. All right, so today on the website, we've got earrings, and we got instant transfers instant transfers they my jam i love instant transfers because instant transfers for the most part mean you don't have to use epoxy an epoxy epoxy likes to challenge me i don't know about you guys but epoxy's a punk sometimes most of the time epoxy get your mask i'm not using a mask no, oh yeah, <laughs> for the cat poop, just like walk around with my mask on because the cats took a dukes, took a dookity dunk, dump, 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 truck. All right, this is what's live on the website today. We've got these nebula roses. We've got these magical stars. We've got judge me when you're perfect. We've got this amazingness we've got this amazingness and we've got this amazingness i would really really like to do something oh summer's got that one design that she cuts into and then it goes Hmm, I wonder if she's got that in her Cricut, um, let's look, let's look in Summer's Cricut account and see if we can Cricut cut this, because I've got access. Let's log out. Let's save. we got to save what we're working on. Save. And then let's log out of me and log into the Summer. Sign in. Oh, uh, I don't know it. Uh, 
let's go to the drive and let's go to shared drives shared drives and let's look in A document that has the passwords. So let's look at the password. Cricket account. Let's break into the cricket. Got it. Well, that's an easy password. Oops. Okay. Breaking in, do 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 do. Breaking in, do 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 do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Summer said, "Give me access to her cricket." Also, <laughs> all right. Let's see if there's a cut file. Oh, my stuff. All right, those we don't need. We don't need. We don't need. I want the. Well, there's all the um. Oh. There's, I don't see the thing. They must have cut it on the stupid silhouette. No, they don't have the cut file that they want. There's like honey, oh, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, you guys, I have an idea. So on here is like a honeycomb pattern. And what if I cut a honeycomb pattern with all of these and then fit each one in to honeycombs? And we'll have like a, Nebula Mix Honeycomb. What do we think of that? What do we think of that? Maybe just two of them. That one and this one. What if we Nebula Mix these as honeycombs? I feel like that would be cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? We're going to do it. Let's get out the cricket. Make it. Ooh. Hope we don't mess up our things. And then we can put stars over some of them. Then we'll have cricket stars over some of them. What do we think? What do we think, guys? I feel like that could work however i don't want to waste the whole sheet so let's just do a half a sheet and a half a sheet half a sheet and a half a sheet let's do some things let's figure out some things together first things first let's see which way we need to wrap this thing to make it go on a cup does it wrap this way does not does not oh it does not but it does wrap this way and it wraps this way by too much so you get some extra so we want to put it on the Cricut this way so let's do half of the Cricut this like this let's go down all right Right? Because it goes go this way. It's gonna go this way. I'm gonna cut it. All right. Let me let me talk you guys through the madness that I'm about to do right now. All right, look. You just made a honeycomb fire last night. All right. So this cup is nine and a quarter. So we need like nine and a half worth of honeycombs, right? So nine and a quarter. So let's just do, I mean, so nine and a quarter divided by, so let's do 10 divided by two, let's do five. So I'm gonna cut this to five. Oops, just kidding. Just kidding. We're gonna cut it halfway this way. We want to cut it this way. Who knows what we're doing here? 
we're just cutting this in half because I don't need the full sheet. Right? I need half the sheet. I need half the sheet. Boom. Too late now. It's done, guys. Oh, shoot. Well, what did I do here? What did I do here? Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Boom, 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 boom. Cut it in half. I should have done two swipes. All right, we're cutting it in half. There's that. We're gonna do the same thing here. All right, and then I'm gonna talk you guys through my madness, right? We're gonna cut this one a little bit more. So we have a little bit more honeycomb on this one. Okay, there we go. Okay. So let's talk through the madness, right? So we've got two pieces of this vinyl, just like this, right? In theory, in theory, these two pieces are going to go onto this cup as honeycombs, right? And so I'm going to put them on here together so that they can be honeycombed. So they get all cut together as one. So in theory... I'm just going to cut once, but I'm going to use two different files. <laughs> yes, that, um, you guys, that uh, paper cutter is a gift from Nellie Zapian. She surprised me. Um, she worked with the warehouse crew to surprise me with a little gift. And I got, um, I got something so that I no longer have the capability of hurting myself so that was very, very wonderful i appreciate you all right so we are gonna do this like this we've got a little bit of tape here so my cricket mats are so old and gnarly that i have to tape them down i bought some of the stuff so that we could learn how to clean cricket mats together but I haven't done it yet, so there's that. Oh my god, it stinks like dookie in here. My goodness, it's dookiness. All right, so we've got the cricket, and we're ready to go. We're ready to go. So I'm gonna stick it into the cricket. We're gonna hit the crit file. Um, we're going to the print file and we're just going to go and see what happens. And hopefully I don't screw it up. No device found. That's because my cricket will no longer read my Bluetooth. I don't know what's going on with it, but it doesn't read my Bluetooth anymore. It doesn't like it. So we're just going to do this. All right, select the Cricut Maker. There's only one, jerk. Maker. Change machine, you select a different machine. This one, there's a... Ah. Change on canvas. Are you sure you wanna cancel the cut? Yes. So, I gotta go There's this, customize. And I need to change the canvas. How do we do that? Bum, ba -dum, bum, Make. And got it. Oh, continue, select the maker, maker. You select a different machine than the one you used on the canvas. Cancel. I don't know how to switch it on the canvas. 
You want to cancel the cut. Anybody know how to change the canvas? Hmm. Aha. I have a Cricut Maker. Got it. Maker. Make. Figured it out. Is it time for wine? Yes. You knocked your tray in front. Oh, Sandy. That sucks. I am going to print this on medium cardstock. Um, default pressure, medium cardstock. So look at these look at me go all right let's see what happens why isn't it doing anything all right i don't know how many honeycombs we're gonna get but I'm pretty excited about the prospects of whatever's happening right now. Oh man, stupid cricket Bluetooth. I have tried to reset my machine. It's this new computer. This new computer hates the Bluetooth. Like I'm not technologically stupid. Like I'm actually good with tech. This Bluetooth just doesn't like me to walk this candle towards me. Like, put it on still just in a poop. I wonder if Pearl's got it on her feet or something. Pearl! Pearl! Pearl, Pearl! Right, so while we're waiting for that, while we're waiting for that, Cricut is one of your areas you know pretty well. Oh, Tink, maybe you should do like a Cricut tutorial for us. Sounds like it's cutting. I'm going to sage this room. I'm so nervous. I don't even know how big these honeycombs are. I do know. Oh no. Man down for sure. <laughs> Listen, anywhere there's a hole, we're going to put in one of those roses so it's totally fine. We've got a plan and we're sticking to it. We got a plan and we're pivoting to it. Pearl. I'm like looking around to see some crap on the floor. First of all, she's also disgusting and does not cover her poop in the litter box. So that could be the problem. Kim Anderson, what's up, girl? 
Kim, we're making stuff today. Did you see the new vinyls today, girl? This one and this one and some other ones. Like these stars, amazing. This, amazing. These, which are amazing. And this, judge me when you are perfect. Judge me when you are perfect. Thank you very much. Ooh. I have. Hold it. Wait for it. I wonder. That doesn't really work. No. I was thinking that I could use that. I wish I had some of those splats. But that's not really going to work. Are you done? Oh, you did not do very well. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of problems here. What are you coming back to do? What are you coming back to do? Stop. Oh, you're doing the ends? All right. No. This is my how not to cricket tutorial. over the part that just screwed up. Well, it looks like it only screwed up one row of honeycombs. So, we might be okay. All right. <laughs> this is... What happened? It's only in the middle. It's fine. It's fine. I think we're going to be fine. So, also, I don't know how we're going to get these off individually. <clears throat> I don't have a plan. Listen, plans are for people that plan. I don't plan. I don't plan. I do. I don't plan, I slay. Okay. Hmm. This might have needed to be cut twice. Son of a gun, gun. Not all of it cut all the way through. <laughs> all right, so. All right, so I know I didn't have a plan, but I don't really know what to do now. All right, so we're gonna take off, I think I'm, let's just start with this one because it's blue. So I'm gonna take off this top sheet because I think I'm gonna have to place these guys individually. I don't think I'm gonna be able, I, I was hoping to be able to weed it, but it didn't cut, it looks like it barely cut all the way through, if it cut all the way through. So I might have to place them all. I don't know how it couldn't have cut all the way through. Hold on. We didn't really think this all the way through. You know what's better than somebody without a plan? Somebody with a plan. <laughs> somebody with a solid plan, like one that they've thought through. That's better than somebody without a plan. All right. Okay, okay, so 
Yeah, these didn't cut all the way through. I should have ran it through twice. They cut mostly through. So I'm wondering if I place this down, but weed out the inside circles and then try to put this guy's circles inside there. Let's, let's try that. See, I want to preserve the circles. I want to preserve the circles. But I guess I want to preserve them on this sheet. Right? The problem is, is this isn't like a real vinyl, right? And like a real vinyl, you can like save it. Like once this gets exposed to the air, it's like, I'm done with you. Um, it's now or never folks. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do what I thought I was going to be able to do. Hmm. I might not be able to do what I thought I was going to be able to do here. All right. Okay. Well, maybe if I take off the inner circles of these. All right, that, that's all the inner circles gone. Or that's, that's all the outer circles gone, right? And so now all the inner circles still have the front and back attached. So maybe I can pop out the inner circles like, whoop, that I just touched. Hmm. I need to weed out this guy and put this, but I just took the, the sheet off. Hmm. The problem is, is I want to preserve the insides of these, but hmm. I don't, I'm going to have to, I'm going to lose the insides. I want to cut them out completely, I think. See, I can take this off, but then I need somewhere to put it. I need somewhere to put this while I wait. You know what I mean? Hmm. Because I can do it like this. I can do the honeycomb like this, but then I need to take these pieces out and put the different ones in. So maybe I, I need just, hmm. I feel like I have an idea here. And I don't know if it's gonna work. All right, we're just taking out the, we're taking this, this webbing off. Well, that just took off the piece that I wanted to keep. Excuse me, little mister, you got to come back. You have to come back. And you got to put back down. All right. Well, that guy's gone now. All right, we're going to put you there for just a minute. All right, cool. All right, so I think I just weed out all of these guys and use this as the background. And then I weed them all out. And I only keep the honeycomb part. All right? I think that's what we're going to do, guys. I think for this, we're going to sacrifice the middle, the insides. Sacrifice the insides.
know if this is going to work. We're, we're just, we're winging it, guys. We're winging it. Oh, you guys can't see because the cup's in the way. So I'm taking out the, um, we're just going to use the honeycomb outline for this one. And we're going to hand put in all of the other ones. All right. These have a sticky back on it, so like I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, and uh, maybe I can stick the the backing back to these, but also maybe they're starting to cure right now. These all might be wasted. I'm not sure. I should have kept a couple of them on, huh? I wish I could see what you guys are saying, but if, Emily, please move the tumbler. Oh, I just did. I just did. Oh, sorry. Right. Again, this is the blind leading the blind on this one, guys. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. done we're just trying something this is this is completely like new i have no idea if this is going to work or not um i have no idea what happens to these if they've been exposed to the air and not put on a cup they might be all dead i don't know like these top ones are not coming off very great um because they've been exposed to the air for a minute hot minute so we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. This is experiment time with Emily. Yeah. Experiment time with Emily. Um, okay. Let's see what happens. This all. All right. Cool. All right. So we've got this thing. That off. All right. Okay. So we got this. And we're going to put it down on our cup. I don't know how. Oh man, I don't have the top sheet anymore because I took it all off. I took it all off, so I don't have the top sheet, so we're going to have to wing this. Oh wow, I lost the carrier sheet. 
on this. It's because I cut through it and then I cut it off. Dang, Gina. I don't recommend doing whatever I'm doing here. This is not the way. In case somebody's wondering if this is the way, this is not the way. This is zero ways. You should not be following this as a way. But we're going to do it anyways. We're going to do it anyways. Because <laughs> somebody's got to experiment. Let's just go. Let's just go. We're just going to go. We're just, we're just going to go. just gonna do it look this could be a freaking disaster likely it will be but maybe it will maybe it will maybe this will be phenomenal all right all you guys can't see so I am like literally just rolling this and we're just rolling the dice and going to see if this works. I don't know if it doesn't work. There's going to be a whole lot of like stripping happening. And I'm talking like cup stripping, not working wages. All right. This looks a little dicey. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. All right. So we didn't think this through all the way. I mean, oh, shoot. There's a lot of things, a lot of things happening right now, and that we are trying to circle this cup and we're also trying to not um not get on these things and we are also trying to not have to strip this later um so there's a lot of factors happening right now a lot of things a lot of things happening not sure what we're doing here but we're trying to create a honeycomb pattern and i might have cut might have done some errors in cutting this i wasn't quite sure what i was going to do but i'm just i'm just here to let you guys know that maybe this isn't the way i would recommend you guys doing it right i mean it actually is coming out a lot better than what I had anticipated. Um, so there's that. Um, I don't really know what, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing here. We're just, um, this is what Summer Paul likes to call a mad science library, laboratory, mad science stuff. All right, so we're going to cut this here because it's definitely not lined up. All right, so that looks like that. 
Um, and we're not exactly straight, but it's fine. We're going to sort this out. Um, but I also feel like maybe some of these could go back in and like weird random spots. <gasps> My honeycombs are not like honeycomb shaped anymore. Oh, this was a bad idea, you guys. This is not going to work. <laughs> this is not going to work. Don't try this at home. This was a fail. This is, yeah, this isn't going to work because these honeycombs just got stretched in such a way that they, um, they're not honeycombs anymore. They're like the wrong shape. They're the wrong shape. So I'm actually going to try and put this whole sheet down um, on this side and see if we can preserve the shape. And then we'll just go over the other honeycombs. Um, this did not work. Don't try this at home. If you do, this did not work. This was a fail. So I'm just picking up some of this right now so it doesn't, inter doesn't crash with the other um dumpster fire that we're about to do so we're working on a second dumpster fire um this does not work like vinyl so don't treat it like vinyl and don't think that you can manipulate it like vinyl because it does not work like that yeah this was a fail boo and i ruined like two pieces of vinyl on this um So, well, there is one little ounce of redemption. I could do this and then stick these honeycombs on there. Should we try that? I feel like that's better than whatever else we were trying to do. So let's try that. I'm just going to cut this. All right. So this is supposed to be nine and a quarter. So I need to cut off 1.75 inches of this. So I'm just going to cut that off with my little thing right here. I'm going to cut off one. How do I know what 1.75 inches is? So that's four. So there's, I see. I see how we're doing this. 1.25 let's go a little extra all right we're trying something new guys we're trying something new all right trying something new let's try and use all these little nuggets up so i didn't completely waste it so what i'm going to do here is i have cut this down to size and i'm going to put this full sheet on of nebula on. and so I'm going to take it down about an inch there's a little cup holder thing where's the thing that holds the cups all right we're trying this again guys we're trying this again oh All right, so we are putting this down. We're gonna, we're putting instant transfer down. Man, Sabotage Thursday. So if you guys are new here, we do something called Sabotage Thursday. Usually the team sabotages me, um, but this time it looks as though I've sabotaged myself. And that's great, so there's that. So I'm putting this instant transfer down. It's a full wrap instant transfer that I've cut in half. Um, it does not look like my wrap is going on straight, which is like par for the course right now. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. It's fine. So I'm going to stop right before I get to the end. And I got to take the carrier sheet off so that I don't overlay the carrier sheet because then you won't be able to get it off later. All right. There's the carriage sheet. I'm going to pull the rest of this off. I'm going to put this back on. 
and I'm going to fold it where the seam is so that it breaks. So it breaks. So it breaks. Fold it where the seam is so it breaks. So it breaks in a good spot. All right, I'm going to take carry sheet off. Boom, 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 boom. Carry sheets off. This did not come off the way I wanted it to, but that's fine because we're going to cover it up anyways. All right. All right, so we've got our nebula here, right? And then we've got all these honeycombs. Oh, Did I just ruin that? I've got all these honeycombs that I pulled from the other thing. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna line these little honeycombs up and we're gonna create some honeycombs on here. Boom. I mean, so this is kind of going to work out anyways. Um, so I'm just using whatever honeycombs I want and spacing them however I want because now I'm the boss because this project wasn't doing really what it was supposed to do anyways. So we're just going to make some little bee honeycombs with this. See what I've done there? And we're going to create a little bee honeycomb farm. Yeah. All right. This one is going to go across. There we go. I'm going to try and cover up this crinkly schmoop as much as I can. Burr, burr, burr. There we go. There, so I'm just gonna work these honeycombs around. I don't wanna do the whole thing, but I do wanna do um, enough to make it look intentional. So, we're doing this. And I think some of these still have carrier sheets on them, so I'm gonna have to pull the carrier sheet off of it. Like you guys can see, like remember I didn't pull the carrier sheet off of them? So some of them are still gonna have carrier sheets and you just gotta like, Pull off the carrier sheet. There we go. So there's that. Um, I really like this light piece, so I don't really want to go over that. I feel like this is pretty good. Maybe I'll go up one more. Let's see what we got here. What does this one look like? go. So we've got this. So we're going to press it down. We're going to move the carrier sheet if there is one. Yep. There it is. All right. So this is the redemption of our cup. And now we've got to do something on the top there. Um, so first of all, I got to remove all of this stupid honeycomb that didn't work out. So the unfortunate thing about this is that um, Instant transfers, when you try to peel them up, they come up like paint chips. So they don't come up like a regular vinyl. So you actually have to like work it all the way up with a um, with a, an X-Acto knife to get it to, um, to come all the way off. So I don't recommend taking off instant transfer if you don't have to. Um, so there. Yeah. But that's, this is where we're at, we're at so far. We're going to finish this cup today. Um, we're going to make this beautiful and make this amazing. I feel like this cup might end up going to Eileen Bletcher. 
because I screwed up her because there's her package is missing. This is gonna be my edible arrangement to Eileen Bletcher. <laughs> Could be. I don't know. If it sucks, she's not getting that. All right. I love it's just a shame. You love the look of the honeycomb. I know. Like, in theory, it, it was so good in theory. Um, but it's just the execution. I It does not work like vinyl. So you guys all know this now. It does not work like vinyl. So um, you can cut out something simple like a name. But an intricate pattern like a honeycomb is going to take a skill level that is beyond me. Um, Summer might be able to figure it out, but on the fly, I did not figure it out successfully. So, um, there you go, guys. Sorry, you're going to have to watch me, like, unweed this all, right? Um, and like I said, instant transfer is basically like, um, is basically like, Ooh, ah, is basically like um, paint chips. So once it dries, I actually kind of really liked this one. Oh, it's not gonna fit there. Um, might fit on the top though. I actually like the the coloring of this one. Nope, it has to go sideways. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out for us. Sorry, buddy. I feel like I should go check on the dogs. They're being awfully quiet, aren't they? This is the longest live ever to, like, not do anything. Just kidding. We made earring. We made a keychain. I showed you guys the earrings. Um, I'm showing you guys how to easily remove instant transfer. So you just run the, um, you run the not sharp side of the um, blade underneath the instant transfer and it lifts it. Um, if you run the sharp side of the blade, it'll cut it. So you run the not sharp side of the blade underneath it so that it doesn't cut it. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done, guys. I could run a master class on removing instant transfer. I feel like that's what you're getting right now. Just heard Sergeant bark in the backyard. So they're still back there. That's good. Almost done, guys. We're almost done. It's snowing. Where is it snowing? That's ridiculous. I don't want to be there. Wherever you are and it's snowing, I do not want to be there. That is ridiculous. It is freaking March, almost April. No, it's, I can't, but I cannot believe you must be lying. There's no way it's snowing. Where are you at? It's like in junior high when somebody's bra strap was showing, you said it's snowing in Texas. 
or it's snowing in wherever. Did you guys do that? It's snowing in Hawaii to tell somebody. It was like a secret code for girls to tell them that their bra strap was showing. Make it mattered. Like bra straps were like a bad thing. Maybe we, maybe that was just us. You know, I was, you guys know Julie, our social media girl. I took her out for ice cream. She's on, on maternity. I took her out for ice cream when I was in Texas and her daughter starts singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in the car. And so I started doing all the ad libs, you know, like uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny you nose know, and it's been, you would even say it snows. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names like Pinocchio. And they just thought it was so funny that I was doing all the ad libs. And I was like, Are you, you don't know these? And she's like, no. Um, and so I just found out that that's a regional thing. And that like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ad libs is a Michigan thing. It is not like a nationwide funny haha, -ha, which I think is hilarious. All right, Sunday, we're supposed to get another storm. Ew, ew is what I have to say, ew. All right, so this is where we're at right now for instant transfer. We've got to find another instant transfer to put down so that we can put some more guys down. So we have, we also have, we also have this one that we can put down. Um, and then we can put more, um, then we can put stars over it, or we can put some of these other nebulas over it because it's kind of slightly different. Uh, let's see what we have. We have leopard print, but we can't put leopard on everything, guys. You can't put leopard on everything. It doesn't match everything. Um, we also have, what else do I have? Good. We got polka dots. That doesn't really work. Or does it? And we've got leopard print. I mean, that doesn't really work. We do have polka dots. And we could go polka dot and then nebula and do like a little rim of sass. Is that gross? I feel like it's kind of gross and it doesn't work. Let's not. And let's not and say we did, but let's do this. Let's do this. I feel like we could do this. And then we could put more nebula, more of these little circles up. Nope, no dots, they said. No dots. All right, let's do this. So this gets cut to nine and a quarter. Oh, actually, we could just use the top of this one and pull off the nebulas from there. I feel like we should do this. What do you think? And then we'll put the other, the ones that match that on this. So they're going opposite. I feel like that's cool. And then we'll throw some stars in there. Let's go. Let's go. And then some of those flowers. Yes. 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 Is what I say. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go, boys. Do, 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 do. So just marked where I need to cut it.
All right. Stay out of my way. Stay out of my way. I said stay out of my way. Stay out of my way. All right, guys. Man, if these things would only stay out of my way. All right. So now we're going to take the back off this. I said we're going to take the back off this. Guys, we're triaging a cup that I screwed up. These are today's vinyl, or today's Insta transfers that we have on sale. It's like a spacey kind of day. So it's all a bunch of nebulas and some stars and some beautiful things. We're going this way. Oop, I'm going to line up the things. All right, here we go. I feel like that's not right. All right, this is what we're doing. This is the instant transfer. We're gonna press it down. We're gonna go side to side. So that we can get it down without bubbles. Most important for us is to um, get it straight right here because we can always trim the edge over here. Because it is definitely not straight. It's definitely not straight. Oh, it's not that not straight. Not too bad. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. But don't forget to pick up your transfer tape or the, the carrier sheets. Because if you suck that down, you're screwed. With a capital OOD. And I like to fold it where the seam is. Because you can fold when you fold it, you can break it. Um, sometimes it breaks. Guess it's not going to do it this time. go with our nebula cup all right so let's put some let's put some of these guys I think we decided we were gonna do some of these and some of the pink ones so we're gonna keep going with these all right so these are the blue ones come on jerk and then we've got the pink ones that we already cut right here. Um, so we're gonna grab some pink ones and go up here with it. Like a boss. really like that swirl. I don't really want to cover it up. I'm going to cover one more swirl up. All right, with our nebula. So maybe we'll go a little bit of light purple here. 
I'm trying to cover up the seam, guys. That's why I went up this way. And then we're going to maybe shift one there. I'm going to go this way a little. All right, guys. Oh, I feel like this is looking good. Here, let me give you guys a preview of what we got going on. Remember, you got to pull the carrier sheets. So this is what we're doing here. Um, we're working on the nebulas. Um, nebula cups. Nebula cup. Uh, uh, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Yeah. I feel like this is kind of fun. Let's grab this one right here and stick it in. Yeah. I feel like we can put one right here too. Let's do something a little contrasty, a little pink, pink, you stink right here. I mean, we could keep going forever with these. Um, it's just a matter about like what we want to cover up on this cup. Um, I feel like we could cover up a little of this. Oh, we got flowers too. I forgot about the flowers, guys. Let's get out the roses. I wonder if we can save these guys by putting them on this sheet. Maybe. I'm gonna try and preserve, I'm gonna try and preserve these guys by screwing them up and put them on these sheets. So maybe they won't die. I don't know, they might still die. I'm not sure. Um, because they've been exposed to air and so when it exposed to air, it kind of gets a little brittle. So they might not go on a cup again. I'm not sure, but whatever, it doesn't hurt to There you go. Oh, stick that guy on. Put this guy on. Stick this guy off. And put this guy on. Nope. All right. So. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are we done? Do we want more nebulas? Let's put flowers. Let's put flowers in. Oh, and we're going to throw some stars over there, too. We've got all these stars. Here. That's not good. See you later, guys. Nebulas gone. All right. We are also going to throw some some of these stars on top of some of these. I think that that would be really pretty. So let's just do that, shall we? Shall we, shall we? Right? Use these stars up. Because in theory, if I wanted to do a full wrap on this cup, I would have an extra inch. Right, so we can use at least an inch of stars for whatever else we want. It's 
that's still enough for a wrap cup. So let's see what we got here. Let's throw some stars in. We don't need this halfsy star. We don't need this halfsy star. Let's some stars. I think we should. Hey guys, we're using all of the instant transfers today from um, the today's deals. Um, it's a bunch of nebulas and galaxies. Um, and we are just throwing in the kitchen sink because I like cups that are more is more. Um, so we're just kind of showing you how you can layer instant transfers till your heart's desire. There we go. You can just peel them off and press them down, and then peel them back up. Hopefully, peel them back up, and they'll stick down. There we go. There's that one. And then let's throw a couple little ones down. Put a couple little ones in here. Yeah. Yeah. Then we're going to throw some roses down and we're going to call it a day. Let's put this guy right here and push him down. Pull him up. We're going to put this one here. Push him down and pull him up. And we're going to put this one here, push them down. Oop, uh oh, I just pulled them all up. That's not good. Oh no, I forgot to pull off the carrier sheet. Now these guys are on there for good. Well, that's a waste of those stars are gone. You guys, I forgot to check and see if any of these are carrier sheets. And all of them have carrier sheets. Did I do this one? Oh, fortunately, the one I stuck on there, I had already pulled off. So you just kind of like flip at the edges and see if there's a carrier sheet still on there. If there's not a carrier sheet, it's not going to come up. So you're not going to like ruin anything because this is like a permanent, um, it's a permanent sticker. But the carrier sheets on top are not permanent. So when you pull at it, you'll see a little lip come up. Whereas if there is no carrier sheet, it's not going to lift your, it's not going to lift your, um, decal up. Use your fingernail. Don't use a, um, don't use an exacto. Oh, there's one. Oh man. Guess there's a lot of them. Did I already try these? I already tried those. Okay. Well, we got a couple stars left. Guess we're going to give it a shot again. Um, here we go. Man, what a bummer is that? I just wasted those stars on something that didn't have a carrier or it's on the carrier sheet. Gonna place it down. Oops. All right. There we go. I think that's kind of fun. Let's get some roses on here, guys. But we do have a couple more stars. I feel like these stars can go across this bottom here. That would be really pretty. Hmm? Yeah. Let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? They get cut off when I straighten the um, thing with my... Um, with my edge trimmer? Big deal. They're just stars. 
They're just stars. Oh, I was probably going to put a rose there. Oh, well. Guess not anymore. Or else the rose can't go over it. Oops, I lost a little piece of my star. If some of the instant transfer comes up, just push it back down and it'll go back down. It'll go back. It's not a big deal. Man down. It's not a big deal. All right. So there we go. Let's add some um, of the roses in. So the last instant transfer that we had today were these beautiful roses, these nebula roses. Um, so I feel like we can use some of these right here. Um, yeah, for sureies. For sureies. Uh, let's go. I like this one. I think we're going to do this one here. Ooh, I do like this one here, covering up some of the honeycombs and the stars. And then we'll put one over there. Yeah. I think that's a good one. So we'll take this. All right, guys, we're almost done. More is more, more is more. These are all today's instant transfers. More is more, we're using all of them. We are literally using all of today's instant transfers. There's one instant transfer that we did not use today. Um, this looks so good. Uh, this is amazing. And we're gonna put a big one up here. So this is where we're at so far. All right. Should we put a big one on there? Or a little ones? I feel like a big one would be cool. Let's go big. Go big or go home, I say. Go big or go home. This is. All right. Big or go home. You were looking down and you wouldn't have seen it, but I knew you wouldn't figure it out. You're good at that. What did I, what did I do? I was looking down at honeycomb worked out. Okay. Despite all the grr for sureies. For sureies. Um, yeah, I feel like that's a good spot for it. Let's do this. All right. Oh, oh, at the the blade came off my exacto. All right. Let's get busy with this. All right, I'm going over some of the honeycomb, so it looks like it was on purpose. There we go. I'll pull this rose off. Make sure she's stuck on there real good. I feel 
Like I did not realize that those roses were right next to each other, but they're cool. But I do feel like we need one more right here. One more rose, one more rose. A little one right here. This one. This little one right here. More is more, people. More is more. I like to use all the instant transfers that I have all the time. We did a lot today. How long have I been live? I feel like I've been live forever. Is this the longest live ever? Two and a half hours. Three hours? I gotta get out of here. I gotta go make dinner. I gotta do purchasing. I gotta go buy some stuff. All right. Seem like we're done. I just got an edge trim and we done. There we go, guys. The Nebula Cup is done. More is more. More is more. Let me hear from you. More is more. Doobie doo doo. Doo doo doo. Yeah, I feel like it looks good, right? Looks like a sleeve. <laughs> Put one small rose on the bottom. I forgot about the bottom. So we can do a rose and we can do some stars. There's a rose for the bottom. I mean, or I've got honeycombs for the bottom. Let's do this. Let's do. I always forget to get that stupid sticker off the bottom. Take the sticker off. All right, let's put a honeycomb down there. Honeycomb. Let's do a second honeycomb. If it'll fit. No, it doesn't fit. Looks like we're doing a honeycomb and a rose. Where's a little rose at? Did I cut a rose already? No. No, the honeycomb looks dumb. Let's pick it up quick. Pick it up quick before it sticks. You're out of here. Honeycomb. You want to stick it to the thing? No. That one's done. We're just doing a rose. Just a rose, guys. Just a rose. And I hear Tank wants to come in. He's like, we've been on here forever. Do honeycomb and a rose. I tried to do the honeycomb. The honeycomb's too big. Um, so we're just going to do the rose. Come on. Mm -hmm. Rose it is. Rose it is. Boom. There's your booty. There's the cup, guys. I just need to um, use the edge trimmer on the top here and the bottom. And I think you guys all know how to do the edge trimmer, but we can do it real quick. If you guys want to see it, we sell these little edge trimmers on Lily and Rose. A little box. Oh, boom. boom. Boobity boops, boobity boops. It's got a little razor in there, inside there. And then you just put the cup up next to it. And you turn it, you give it a little turn. There you go, go all the way around a couple times. There you go. 
same at the top. I have it set kind of high. I might regret that later, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm probably going to regret how high that is, but it's fine. It is what it is, what it is. So then we're going to take our little blade again. Remember, and you're going to use the, um, you're going to use the not sharp side to run along the edge of the, the thing so that you can lift it without cutting it. And that's going to let you get as far as possible on this um, without it chipping off. Because instant remember guys, instant transfer is not, does not behave like vinyl. It normally comes off like paint chips. Oh, was that the top or the bottom? That was the bottom. All right, here's the top. So we're just going to find out, find where it cut it. And we're going to run along the top. Yeah, I went a little high with the, um, the blade on my, my cup trimmer. I could have gone a little bit lower um, and saved a little, but... That's a good looking cup, guys. These are all today's vinyls. All the Nebula vinyls for today's cups. And we honeycombed them and we used the stars. We used the roses. We used all the things. That's a good looking cup. That's a pretty good cup. <laughs> no one outside of us will ever know there wasn't a plan. There we go. All right, guys. Um, I am going to um, start cleaning up. And because um, I got to like make some dinner for my family. Um, not let Jeff know that I've been crafting all day. Um, but hey, uh, like I said, all of the good stuff is on the website today. You've got Nebula Roses. You've got... Um, this beautiful nebula, you've got stars, you've got this nebula, you've got some flowers, all the things. So, ugh. lots and lots of things. Um, oh, you've got, um, judge me when you are perfect, which won't go on here because there's nowhere for it to go. There's nowhere for it to go because I covered up the space that you would be able to see it from. Uh, hit like before you go, peeps. Oh, that's nice, Sandy. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, go shop away. Uh, summer. Hopefully, Summer will be back tomorrow. She thinks she has straps. So that's not good. Um, but if she's not live tomorrow, guess who will be live tomorrow? So we'll have another episode of Ugh. Let's make it work. Um, I will be, I might be live later on tonight with my battle box, but I kind of think that it needs, um, I feel like it needs some time to cure a little bit more. Um, I just put the epoxy on last night, so it's hard to the touch, but it's not like cured, cured. Um, and we are going to be putting vinyl strips and vinyl sayings and stuff on this. It's going to say, um, lip gloss and um it's gonna say lip gloss and 80s rock is how i roll um and then we've got to do a couple more things to it so we're not done yet we do need to add those flowers these are the the flowers that came with the battle box um so these need to come on here somewhere we've got to do our bead pen we've got so many things to do y'all it's not done. It's not over till it's over. All right. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.